What's up, Jubal people? Welcome to this lesson. Today we're learning to play Photograph by Nickelback. It's gonna sound like this. I'll play the first verse and the chorus for you. One, two, three, four. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. So this song is really fun, fun song to play. A really nice open chord uses uh, not beginner voicings, but kind of like advanced beginner. If you want to, if you want to call it that. Let me show you quickly what's happening here. Okay, so we've got the E chord here, just a, a straightforward E chord, but then you play with these three fingers. Okay, and then you take this chord and you move all the way up to the fifth fret, and then you get A. So this is the A that we're going to use in the song. So this one just hits the E string here on the fifth fret, and it's seven, seven, and then six. So you got E over here, and then you got A over here. So A, and then you got B. B. So you got A and B. And then you've got a cool chord D, which is at the 10th fret, with the index finger at the 10th. Okay, so just to review, we got E, and then we've got A, the 5th fret, and then we've got B, and then we've got D. Now this D just works in this key, when you see a normal D in a song, you won't be able to play this D. But for this song, this D works really nice. This is actually like a D6 kind of thing. Okay, um, D6 sus2. And then we can also have a G chord over here, which is actually gonna be called a G6. But for this song, we're gonna say it's just a G. Okay, so you got E, G, A, B, D. Those are the songs. So let's open the PDF, and then you guys can see exactly uh, what this is. So. In the first verse, I'm just gonna let you see. Look at the first verse, okay? So the, I get out of here. Okay, cool. If you guys are watching, smash the like button. Go subscribe on YouTube. We'll get this video on YouTube as well. And we're gonna do some cool live videos for the next two hours. We're gonna be just doing live videos, okay? So it's the the verse is. Look at this photograph. I should probably first show you the strumming just quickly, okay? Mute all the strings, and here we go. The strumming is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. 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 Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so let's just do this slowly. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so for the verse, we got E. Now, instead of playing the E here, I think it sounds a lot nicer if you played the seventh fret on the A string. So, seven, nine, and nine. This is an E5, and it sounds really nice. I think this is what they use in the original recording. Now, also, I would like to mention that the original recording is in the key of E flat, not E like I'm playing it. So you have to tune all the strings down a semitone. So this, the first string is not going to be E, it's going to be E flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, uh, B flat, E flat. Okay, so everything's going to be one down. If your tuner can do that, that would be cool. Otherwise, just Google a video on how to do that. But I'm not going to show that in this lesson. But just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's quickly go through the verse. One, two, three, four. Look at this photograph of me 
Now we go to the D. And then A. And then it's just the same thing. E, B, D, A. That's the main progression, E, B, D, A. And then at the end, you're by the... By the... I wonder if it's too late. Should I go back and try to graduate? Life's better than I was back then. If I was them, I would let me. So that's just basically going to the G. Let me in. Oh, then the chorus is the exact same progression. E, B, D, A. Walking out the back door. I have a photo I have spread out on my bedroom floor. It's hard to say it. Time to say goodbye. And there where you see that the chords between the chorus and the verse is just E. Remember the old arcade? So that's pretty basic, right? So that takes care of the verse and the chorus. Now let's go to the bridge. Same kind of strumming, E, B, but then G, and then A. So same thing as that you do in between the chorus and the verses. I miss that time. I miss the faces I can't erase. You can't replace. I miss it now. I can't believe it. So hard. So, yeah, pretty easy song. As you can see, the bulk of the song is just E, B, D, A, A. And the shapes are all the same, except for the first, the E chord is down here. And with the other chords, you just take this shape and shift it around. Pretty basic song, basic rock song, just fun to play. Fun uh, campfire song to play if you guys... Uh, have somebody who can sing that high otherwise you could just sing every memory of walking out the back door I had a photo I was spread out on my bedroom door it's time to see it's time to see you could do that <laughs> but anyway I think I think that's that for this lesson I don't think there's anything else that I can say about this lesson just it's really fun to play and those are really nice chords to add to your library as well. Like if you're playing in the key of E and you want to add some out of key chords, the G and the D are out of the key of E, non-diatonic. So they're not in the key of E major. So you can play like E, B, A. Then you can go to D to make it funky. D, yeah, A. Make it G. Rock thing to do, do the G. And it's got a nice resolve that happens there. So if you can, in the key of E, the theory part of the song that you can get out by learning the song is when you're playing the key of E and you want to play non diatonic chords, the D is a really nice chord to play and G. Have a nice day, guys. See you on the flip side.